I'm Captain Sarah Sparrow, and today I'll be showing you how to do this lovely makeup. It is going to be a masquerade full face mask. I am going to start off by painting myself white. I need a bigger brush than this, but I already committed, so you know, you just paint the entirety of your face. Okay, so the next most noticeable part that I see is the beautiful black lip. So you're gonna take Ben Nye Black, and you're gonna take a brush, you got this brush right here, and you're gonna have to make this all black, all lip, really dramatic, so you're just gonna go like this. You look like I have a mustache. So if you make a mistake like I did, because you suck at life, I don't believe in makeup wipes, because what you do is what you create, and no one else can create what you create but you. I messed up, so, you know, hope to do. Be more careful with the black this time. So then you do the bottom lip. Yep, cool. We are either two steps away from being a goth kid, or we're two steps away from being a super cool masquerader. Draw in the eyelids, which in return will make you a goth kid as well. You get to get the best of both worlds. So we're gonna do that real quick, and we're gonna kinda make them into like a nice little cat flick. Now this could be your next smoky eye, it could be a goth look, or it could be a masquerade mask. You know, you can stop the video whenever you want, guys. Okay, I'm liking how it's turning out. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're coloring the whole eyeball. Don't blink too much. You can also audition for the part of the black swan in the next ballet play, school ballet. On to the next part that's an actual part to separate yourself from the goth kids. You don't want to get confused when you're trying to be a masquerade and you end up looking like a goth kid. So, we're gonna take a smaller brush, super small, super deep. Detail. We're going to outline the shape of the mask. Now you can pick any mask what you want, but if you're an unoriginal copycatting whatever or others, you can copy mine. I'm going to start the nose, you know, and they just, it outlines my nose and then goes really low down my chin and goes back up. And then the same thing on the other side, go all the way down, make sure it's even, and what? Now, the whole part of the mask is the mask. We're gonna keep going. I keep opening my eyes too much and the black is spreading. <sighs> the one that I'm choosing has lots of crisscrosses and little squiggles, so luck. It's kinda hard because I don't have gold, but I do have gold glitter, which we can use at the end. Start off strong and confident. Fill in any part that's black, because we're already at black. Um, this connects up here. Yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm not supposed to have eyebrows, so I should color that in. But I'm not gonna do that now. We're gonna do that later. In order to paint right here, you have to do girl trying to apply mascara. Ready? You know the drill. You have like a big black doohickey on your face right now. Beautiful. Isn't like that? We're also going to do like a nice little diamond square. Oh yeah, look at that. There's lots of crisscrosses and stuff. So this kind of goes like really excited eyebrow. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way to the bottom. And it doesn't matter because it's gonna get painted over anyway, so when you make mistakes like that, you just gotta remember that you made that mistake so you don't do it again. And then you just go all the way to the end and connect this part, same time. And then you do like a line here and a line here and there. Beautiful. Just the way we wanted it to look. Do a line of coke here. That was meant to be funny, you guys. Laugh about it. <laughs> you know, I really picked out this makeup because it's gonna be elegant. You can go to the ballroom like this and do a fancy schmancy dance if you know how to do that type of stuff. You don't make mistakes sometimes. <laughs> this side's like a whole bunch of weird cool squiggles that I wish I could comprehend right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to make it actually look pretty and not have a whole bunch of random stuff on your face. Now this square right here is gonna be black. Why? Because I chose it. And you know what other square is gonna be black? How about y'all take a guess? You're right, this one right here. Hashtag checkerboard, hashtag living life. Oh dear lord. Things need to be done. It's not a butterfly, but if y'all want it to be a butterfly, I could make it a butterfly. 
I see the resemblance. I promised you guys last time it would be a butterfly. So let me know if you want a butterfly, but right now it's masquerade mask. Got it? Got it. Now there are certain spots on the makeup that are supposed to stay moderately white, a little bit less white than the face, of course. So we're going to fix that a little bit. Oof. We're gonna work hard. To, to blend it into realism and not into, I did this with 10 seconds of my life. It's gonna be a slight dirty brown, possibly gold if I feel like it, if I'm feeling up to the challenge. Look, we're going to get in. Oh yeah. All right. So when I said we're gonna keep it white, I meant basically we're gonna make it brown. And then put white back on top. All right. And it and it and it and it and it and it and it, and it, and it uh, sprays it for ya. I'm doing great. I look like a sad clown. Sad clown. Sad clown. So we're still just painting in the brown. Perfect. Oh dear lord. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Raise your hand if you got a pee. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Elegant AF. And then this part also has to get wop wop wop. Say bye eyebrow. We're kicking that eyebrow out of his apartment. So right now we're just giving it the look of the cut crease. So that your mask can look fly even if it's not fly. Because you did it super late. I regret choosing this mask. I should have chose something easier. So we're going to switch brushes. And we're going to go back to black. Because we forgot this little bit over here. And the other bit on the other side. So color it in however you want. Color it in with your eyes closed. Or while doing it. Handstand. Oh, do you feel elegant? I meant to, 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 to hide all of the eyebrow. You don't need that type of junk in your life. I messed up somehow, somewhere. And now there's this color that I don't fully know what color it is. We're gonna try our best. I want to say it's like a gray color. I'm gonna make it a gray. And we're gonna fill in all of the gray parts that we feel like are gonna be gray. Not white, gray, gray. I know we already painted our 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 beautiful squiggles, but I realized that there's an underbase color, and the only way to get to that underbase color is to um, make it not underbase. Um, it's only only way that you can get to your underbase color is by going over what you meant to accidentally not do. But you did anyway. Mistakes happen. It's a thing. You didn't mean it. Gotta say, guys, looking good. So now that we have most of the makeups done, we're going to shade my favorite. Shade the gray. We want to use the brown brush. So we're going to in the brown, and we're going to shade. shade, shade, shade. I could shade all day and never get tired of it. Have everything to do with my pastime. Remember all of those lines that we did that were supposed to be in gold, but we did them in black? We're gonna do them in white first, so that way we can get to the gold part. So we're gonna like outline literally everything. Like this, like this, like this, like this, like this. Just stick to the plan, no one gets hurt, okay? Anytime you see a black line, make it a white line. Bam! It's oh, dang. So now we want to shade the mask away from the face so that it looks like it's a separate being. We're at the point where, you know, this is sufficient, but we might want to go above and beyond because we forgot our little doodads in the corner. Whop, and then we're gonna whop. And now that you look like an elegant mofo, you're good to go. I, they have this other part to shade, but I'm afraid that if I do it, I might ruin my makeup. We're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna shade this area right here to get a little bit of depth. I contoured too hard in the paint. And there you have it all. Here is a elegant masquerade mask. The best point to um, wear this makeup is with your eyes fully closed, just like this. And you get the point across. Uh, it's not very functional when you want to go out, so you'll have to have your eyes open. Okay, so comment below if you want me to do any sort of cool drunk makeup tutorials. This one is Masquerade Mask. Check out my band ma makeup. Let's hear some jokes. Why did the- did you hear about the guy who got his whole right side cut off? He's all right now. <laughs> no, not a fan. Not a fan. Not a fan. Okay. See you next time. Bye.